as you drive up and down the south coast of Oregon, you'll see the haystack rocks out in the ocean. The ocean has been trying to beat away at for a billion years. And they're still there. It is an incredibly rugged territory. We have an incredibly difficult terrain to build in. I lived on the coast, and it takes three hours in three directions to get to a town of over 20,000 people. Now, if you figure all the houses and all the farms and all the small communities that are along the coast, that's a significant change. So it really started with Coos Curry Electric Co-op. They were really in need of getting out to their customers fast internet. Coos Curry Electric Cooperative's board of directors found that 20% of their members had no access to broadband service whatsoever, and that was unsatisfactory. They had to do something to satisfy the broadband problem and bring the high-speed fiber experience where no one else will go. That job was originally secured by a non-union contractor that came out here. That did not work. They were not familiar enough with the territory here to be able to complete that job. So with the partnership with Local Union 659 and Coos Curry, Keyline Construction was brought in to do the telecom project. Our broadest part of the network is about 30 miles wide, a little over 100 miles tall. It's all covered up with these beautiful trees that we have, so it looks like a soft blanket. But it is incredibly rugged territory. And we have the arrogance to believe that we're gonna be able to put pipe through those rocks. And, and we do. We build it. Keyline's mentality is a, is a get it done contractor. We've always pride ourselves on these ladies and gentlemen we have all persevere and get through and all of the, the weather, the terrain, no matter how hard, how tough, whatever the case may be, we're able to conquer it. I didn't think there was that much to do in fiber till I got here, and then I got here and I noticed there's a whole mess of stuff I didn't know. Going out on a side-by-side -side doing river crossings. Shooting a line gun, there's a lot to it, a lot more than I expected. All of our people through the IBW, they're splicing their way through the neighborhoods of Brookings in, in a feeder that we call Brookings A. They'll uncoil the cable and bring it down and either have it in their van or in their splicing trailer. They'll be prepping and splicing cable. We basically put tiny glass puzzles together every day. The little fibers in the cable is what we splice together. So first we prep the cable, we open the cable, we put the cable in the tap, we open everything up, get the colored fibers that we need out of these individual cables, and then we splice them together to send light or connection down the river. You can't kink it, it's not a piece of wire that you can just put back together, so you gotta be very careful. The messenger's already up, which is what holds our fiber together, but today we're going to be lashing, which is uh, connecting the fiber and the strand together tight with these two aluminum wires, and it wraps around really fast as we pull it, but we're doing that, setting some down guys, just regular stuff. About 1,400 miles of fiber line to put our full distribution network in. We'll be passing about 20,000 addresses in total. We are creating jobs, and not just creating jobs, not just training people for those jobs, but they are jobs that will be in high demand for the next decade. So I'm very happy. Also, the previous company that we were working with was not a union shop, because Keyline is a union shop, because of Keyline's relationship with the IBEW. That is creating a significant quality improvement. So we're very excited at Beacon Broadband to be able to do that on the south coast of Oregon.